and welcome to another tutorial short on Jane of All Trades. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit more specialist because we're going to be using the Easy Import Editor for the Genomi MC9000. The software is about 20 years old so if you've got it, great. Uh, if you don't, you'll be able to get a hold of it if you're purchasing a Genomi 9000 um, in today's money. Uh, hopefully you'll get it with the machine and don't have to find it. Um, if you need any help with that, feel free to drop a comment below uh, and we can talk about the Genomi MC9000 and, uh, and see if I know anything that will be able to help you. So we're just going to jump right in and here we have Easy Import. It looks really simple. So when you are importing, you just need to remember that it has to be a bitmap file or clip art. I always go for bitmap. It's just easier. And then we're going to go down and we're just going to have a wee look. And there is my logo design, which I'm actually wearing the shirt. And it is embroidered onto the t-shirt. So we're just going to open up that design. And there it is there. So options here. We can make it bigger. Uh, sadly, there's no key to stop any distortion on the design so just keep that in mind that when you're moving it around and you're saying right I want it to be as big as the frame which is 12.5 centimeters by 9 centimeters of workspace that you're going to get it smack bang in the middle or if you want it off to the side you can put it off to the side it doesn't matter that is your working space but you don't want to dis distort your design too much Unless you want it more oval, you could have a huge oval design instead. So why don't we just go with that because it's going to be slightly different to the circular design that I have on my threads here. Um, so when you go, you can choose the tracing options. You can choose it to one dot, two dot, three dots and four dots. I tend to work with the least complicated design humanly possible. Um, because it just it just works easier, it, it figures out the pattern a lot easier and not only that, it gives you a really good end result. So, what the hey, four dots, it's black anyway, colour sensitivity, you can go super high even if you've got two colour or three colour and then you can go okay and then you just go back and then you just ask it to outline. And now you've actually got a really good solid outline that it actually resaves again as a bitmap file for you. Um, so if you want to start registering your design as it were, so you would just click and then it highlights the J. If you don't want that area, you just right click. So we're going to do that and we're going to register it in as many sections as possible. And by that we just do create and then register. We get our J and then create and then register. They've got a shortcut for it of control and G and now we're going to do our outline and we're going to create and register. Depending on how much you want to sew, I've just done it as an outline here, um, but you can also have a fill colour so you can create and register a fill colour and we've got the little A, create, register and as you can see there's quite a, lot, a little tiny 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 bit but we do have the option of a zoom and we can just jump straight into that and then click on it again to get all your tools back and we can now register that and then we go create and register. Now what we're seeing is all black but we can use this grid here and we can change the order, we can change the colour and the stitch or we can delete something altogether. So here we might want this to be different it's actually just made it the first one you just click around and you can change the order of every item and we can go and we can change the color and the stitch so i want the jai i'm going to keep the jai black the t black and the o black but i want this to be my peach color as per my color palette and we are going to make the A peach as well because that's part of my colour palette so now we've made that specific and the little insert for the A we're just going to keep that black as well. Uh, we can choose what stitch we want, horizontal 
Uh, I've done this one in a diagonal weave, which I quite like. So I'm probably just going to run through the whole thing and we'll just make them all weave because weave is cool um, and the machine looks really good when it does the weave because who, who would have thought sewing could be that awesome. But there you go and then we can just go to OK and now we have our design and it's even given us little thread markings so that we've got an idea of where the machine is going to jump to so uh, the machine itself will do the first segment and then it will reset above the next place that it's going to start under the assumption that you are going to change the thread colour. If you're not going to change the thread colour you can just keep the presser foot down and hit start again. I tend to use that as an opportunity to do some thread tidying up then the foot down and then just start again as if I was starting from scratch and it just makes everything a little tidier so you don't have threads that are jumping here, there and everywhere. So I think that design looks super cool, even though it's in an oval and it doesn't actually match my logo. Then all you would do is you would go to file and you would go to save as, and then you can just save it as logo peach because it's got peach in it. And then we'll just save that. And that is now ready to go onto the scan card, which is in the machine. Um, it's not working at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll put it on first. So you just click the wee scan card there, because that's roughly what the, it looks like. Select your design, you get to see it there. And then add to card, and it shows you how much of the CF card has been used by that design. And then you just go right to card. Warning, designs are stored in this scan card to proceed. Click OK to erase the card. We just go OK. Uh, sadly, technology 20 years ago, it couldn't add designs to the card. It could only wipe and then start again. So if you had designs that you wanted to keep on that card constantly, you would have to have that in a list so that you were adding that to the list too and then importing the new design on top of the card and you would just keep doing that. Um, repeatedly so it's not something I'd, I tend just to do one design and then uh, not do it again but I've got two scan cards so anything that I use regularly I have on one card and then the other card I use a bit more haphazardly for other designs so that's it my Janome card reader writer the busy is has stopped flashing don't eject on into your card if it's busy and then you can just eject and there you go and that is my design all ready to go and then it will appear on the shirt like so let's just have you wee and that's how you would use the easy import for the Janome MC9000 uh, feel free to like feel free to subscribe um, it's something that I very enjoy, so we'll probably talk about the MC9000 in future if you're just wanting to be kept up to date with someone who's still using such an old machine. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye!